Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's weather in five, five days in five minutes on what is starting out to be a halfway decent Thursday, although a bit on the chilly side. We really don't have a whole lot happening across the U.S. It's been unusually quiet uh, for probably the last couple of weeks. Uh, no major storms, really. Just uh, occasional weather systems going by. Very little in terms of winter weather. For those of you who are um, snow fans uh, and snow weenies, uh, you can take solace in the fact that, well, most of the country, except for the Northwest, hasn't really seen all that much snow. In the meantime, we've got uh, flood war warnings, uh, flood, sorry, flood watches up for the Pacific Northwest, a few winter weather advisories in parts of uh, North Dakota and Minnesota, and freezing fog advisories up for northern Texas in that uh, uh, aquamarine color. Meanwhile, here in the east, it's nice, and it's going to stay okay for the most part right in through the first part of next week. Checking out the uh, satellite loop this morning, uh, you're seeing clouds moving off the southeast coast with a little low that uh, is moving offshore, a weak low uh, with an area of precip, and we're also starting to see some more moisture beginning to move into the western gulf as the next low takes shape. And in the meantime, you've got this kind of mess of, of uh, high and middle clouds uh, through the uh, Great Lakes and Ohio Valley, and we may get into some of that later this morning and into this afternoon to mask a bit of the sun away. And that's going to keep temperatures under control and keep them mostly uh, in the 30s for highs. Some of the warmer spots in uh, southern Pennsylvania down into Maryland and northeastern Virginia might get above 40 for a short time. Same for Delaware and southern New Jersey. Everybody else will probably top out just shy of that. And when you look at the radar, uh, not a whole lot happening. We've got some... Uh, Snows up in parts of the northern Rockies and then uh, extending back west southwestward through northern Utah and on up into parts of Nevada. And meanwhile, you see a little bit of rain off the North Carolina coast with that weak low going out. And that really is, um, is it. Now, if you are looking for snow, you're not going to find much happening with these weak weather systems running around. And the fact that, as we've been pointing out, uh, the air, uh, these highs that have been coming down from Canada aren't really all that cold. The Arctic air continues to remain locked up way to the north, and we don't really see any opening for that to come down southward anytime soon. So you have marginal cold air here to work with and weak weather systems that are going by well to our south and east, and that probably means that precipitation will be minimal over the next uh, five days, at least taking us through uh, next Tuesday. So if you're looking for snow just uh, in the next 72 hours, the best chances for anything will be in parts of upstate New York and in the western half of Pennsylvania. And we're talking here, by the way, in the green, the darker green, that's a 30 to 40 percent chance of at least two inches. So we're, we're, we're thinking here that uh, even in areas that are impacted by some uh, lake effect, in parts of upstate New York and uh, down into Pennsylvania, we're really not looking at a whole lot. Uh, there's uh, some snow, a uh, higher probability of at least two inches in parts of West Virginia and northern West Virginia. And then if you head on up uh, into uh, interior New England and on up into parts of Maine, this next low that is coming out for uh, Friday night into Saturday morning, and we've got the latest NAM model here to show you. First off, no issues today or tomorrow. It'll be a chilly night tonight. The high will still be overhead on Friday. So we'll have some sun, but also some clouds. And you'll you see this low start to form off the South Carolina coast. There could be some snow in the mountains of Western North Carolina and Western Virginia out of this. Uh, the low moves northeast. But uh, the energy that's in the northern part of the jet stream is not going to phase with this until it gets close to Cape Cod and beyond. That's when you start to see that snow uh, develop in the precipitation shield. So late Friday night, early Saturday morning, this is at 4 a.m. Saturday, a little rain into South Jersey, down into Delaware and Maryland. Uh, that lasts up until about uh, 10, 11 a.m. The northern edge of this doesn't even make it to New York City. It skims eastern Long Island and southeastern New England, and then the low intensifies, and it looks like it could be uh, a fairly solid hit of snow for Nova Scotia as the low deepens down 
uh, to a 971 low. Here, we'll see weather conditions probably start to improve Saturday afternoon. Sunday looks good. And then next week, Monday and Tuesday, uh, we're going to warm up. There's no cold air behind this. So uh, we're going to be seeing temperatures uh, heading up on a southwest wind. Monday's highs are going to be reaching the 50s just about everywhere. And we might even see upper 50s and low 60s down in uh, southern and south central Pennsylvania and uh, into Virginia. If we get into enough sun, I wouldn't be shocked to see temperatures close to 60, even reaching up into uh, parts of into the southern half of New Jersey. Might be, you know, it is a bit of a stretch for areas further north. And then Tuesday, uh, kind of hinging on clouds. So let's call Tuesday mostly in the 50s to around 60 and, and leave it there. Uh, the next uh, important chance for showers probably not coming until Wednesday. So um, okay day today. Some clouds coming into the scene later on. Okay for tomorrow. Saturday morning, some areas will get grazed by a little bit of rain. And then weather conditions improve after that. Sunday looks good. Sunshine and temperatures in the 40s. And then Monday and Tuesday of next week, we'll be climbing up into the 50s. No major storms in sight and barely any minor ones. So that's it for Weather in 5, the Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 7 p.m. on YouTube. And if you're on my weather app, uh, Joe Rayo does what he calls a short fuse update in the late afternoon and evening. So you've got Weather in 5 in the morning and a short fuse update in the evening. And if you're on the free weather app, the meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app, you can watch it or you can go to Joe Rayo's channel, which is Joe Rayo weather. And you should, and you should subscribe to it as well. All right, everybody have a great day. We will, uh, we'll see you later.